Hi, this is Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group with today's real estate tip. Today we're going to talk about mistakes that can cost you money on your homeowner's insurance policy. So with us is Jeff Thomas with MinStar Insurance. How are you doing, Jeff? Good, Scott. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so, you know, I get a lot of questions. Like, people are like, oh, I'm, just trying to st- I'm buying a house and, you know, we got through the purchase agreement and now I need to go sh- shop for homeowner's insurance. Um, but there's things that a lot of folks don't know that can end up costing them money or... I guess the inverse, things they can do to help them save money on their policy. And who doesn't want to save some money? There is, Scott, a lot of moving parts with the homeowner's insurance policy. And commonly I'll get, you know, maybe somebody that doesn't really want to have a discussion with me by phone. Mm -hmm. So they'll go through the mortgage broker, just send an email. And unfortunately, you don't want your insurance agent picking and choosing coverages that meet that think that might meet your needs. Because there could be a lot of gaps and a few things that you want to make sure that you look for is insurance companies, um, there's no really one insurance company that is uh, meant for everybody. They all kind of have their niche market. Right. What I mean by that is there are companies that are a little more you know, favorable for those that maybe are retired or someone that's got a really good insurance-based credit score. A little different than the FICO system, but they kind of usually go hand in hand. Interesting. And that can be an upwards of five to $800 more per year for somebody. So a lot of times we'll get a mortgage broker that will call and say, well, geez, I estimated to be at this dollar amount. Geez, Jeff, you're only buying this $200,000 home. Why are they paying, you know, $1,700? That seems really high to me. And that's usually one of the factors. Seems high to me too. (laughs) It is. So I encourage someone to to look at for different companies. It doesn't hurt to shop or look to a broker. So you're a broker, I am a broker. So you represent... What, what does a broker do? I'm curious. So basically, you, you, you have what's a captive agent that will represent only one insurance company. So okay. think of a captive agent as your state farms, all state, American family, farmers, great companies. Uh, I was with a captive um, insurance company at one time, and I just decided to make the move to independent. And the reason being is, is you'll find that an insurance company will go through their ups and downs as far as rates go. And... Unfortunately, in this day and age, I mean, that's the main driving factor with people's budgets. They don't want to overpay for their homeowner's insurance or auto. Or, right. You know. So this is where having the right insurance company for your insurance-based credit scoring, um, it can be additional discount based on your age, um, stuff like that can play a, a huge factor into the, the pricing. So a lot of it's just knowing like where where are potential areas where I could be eligible for discounts and which companies you know provide those and then being able to shop multiple companies to find who is right. the best fit for for an individual in a, in a specific situation Correct. right it's kind of like saying well everyone should put 20 th- or 20 percent down on their house or or zero down or should take out a fixed rate mortgage or or an arm it's it's really irresponsible to say you make blanket statements like this and like every situation i say look it really depends on your specific situation. scenario your situation talk to a professional, see what your options are, and become an informed buyer of the service. So um, another way you mentioned is what, bundling? Bundling, Policies. definitely. So an insurance company will provide or offer diff- additional discounts. Most commonly, you'll notice the home or the auto. Um, you know, some companies will offer like memberships, such as like, you know, like a AAA, um, additional discounts for there. And then also on top of that, they will then also then offer the ability to um, be add like your home or your security system. And actually, I have a homeowner's insurance company now that when you sign on board with them, they are providing a security system that also picks up, you know, water leaks and stuff like that, prevents, you know, uh, um, yeah, things from happening. And they give you an additional discount. So it's about a $200 system that they give you, they mail to you that you install yourself and you get a discount for that, actually. So interesting. And, you know, one thing that I, I caution people when we, we talk about, you know, things not to do or, or things to do to, to save some money. I would caution everyone, don't be just price focused, right? There's the price and there's the cost. And you can really whittle away on a policy right up to the point where nothing's, I, I'm, I'm exaggerating a bit, but where nothing's covered, right? right. Where you, you actually have, you're underinsured, right? Where you start, you know, you don't, there's some endorsements you might want to look at. There's some liability coverages you may want to add. So you have to look at both you know, what is the price, but what's the long-term potential cost? It's all about value. Yeah, 100%. getting yeah, getting the right value from the product you're buying and stuff and understand that, you know, look at your situation and make sure that, you know, the person you're working with is advocating for you. 
Definitely. You know, and, and listening. Like, like, like too often in life, we are all guilty of not listening. And my wife will tell you I am too. But uh, I'm really good <laughs> when it comes to it from a work perspective. So anyway, so what are we leaving out? Anything, Jeff? Or are we just pretty good? You know, it, it, you'll notice a lot. Of, uh, the last thing is, is on your dwelling, which is most of, especially on a homeowner's policy, that's where majority of the premium comes into play for you. You'll notice that it will vary from insurance company to insurance company because they all use different calculators to come up with your your dwelling. So I encourage you to make sure that you insure it 100%, so you don't run into a co-insurance situation where you're underinsured. If you had a loss, mm -hmm. then more is going to fall on your shoulders as far as um, you know dollars on you know as far as the mistake that was made of undervaluing your right. home. So, right. So right. Uh, but you know if your agent's doing the you know a good job and you're reaching out and you're having those discussions every two to three years. You know everything should fall in place for you. If yeah, you, if I agree. I say look at your value. Make sure it's 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 fair market value. You're not not taxable value. Not you know this mythic value we all have in our heads or our, our castles. And then also shop the exclusions. Make sure that you're looking at your policy and understand what's excluded. Right? Like what isn't covered what's here. Covered, and what's make not sure covered. that you have a, a level of comfort with the policy that you have. So. Awesome. Jeff, this was really helpful. If someone wants more information, how do they get a hold of you? You can reach me by phone or email. Uh, phone number is 612-299-1299, uh, option zero. Otherwise, my email address is jeff, J-E-F-F, -F, at M as in Mary, N as in Nancy, star like a star in the sky, ins.com. Awesome. Thanks, Jeff. And I'm Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group. Like always, you can reach us at 612-600-8888, 612 612-600-8888. 8888 or 24-7 online at verde-realestate.com. We hope this content has been valuable. And like always, if we could be of further service, please reach out to us. Thank you.